Hey guys, Ole Anderson from the Berkshire, Massachusetts Treasure Hunter. It's uh, January 16th, I think. Uh, I found this old log in a park in my town about a month, two months ago maybe. And uh, I was going to clean it and I didn't know what to do, so I kind of looked up online. And I came upon this electrolysis that you make yourself so that's what I'm gonna attempt so I'm by no means a profess professional in this so you gotta be over with me you can try it yourself uh, I have cleaned this a little in the electrolysis thing I made but then I decided to this padlock then I decided to uh, change it a little so what you're gonna need is a bucket and this one is a three three gallon bucket paint bucket um, and I bought some rebar from uh, tractor supply and I have a connection between the two and a connection up here for my wires uh, you gotta make uh, I just took the handle and straightened it out and I made a hook so that's what you're gonna do so and I bought this little power supply on eBay for like I think it was twenty dollars or twenty five dollars you kind of need 12 volts uh, this is 12 volts 2 amps so should be more than enough so uh, let me see or right, let me show you what I'm gonna do like I said I have used it before so you just take the bucket fill it with water by the way here's some of my Water maybe. There's some of my old bottles I haven't cleaned yet. I found over the summer. They're still sitting here. Uh, I gotta clean them. So back to this, you fill your bucket. Not up to where it can run water out. So the paddle or the thing you want to do in the cross it has to be under water. So let's see. Let's go a little bit more. You can kind of see where I filled before. So, that should be good enough. A little bit more. Uh, hold on a second. See if I can lift this bucket with one hand and one finger. <laughs> so, so now you got this. Uh, you take whatever. Oh, I had to go back down to the store. You need arm and hammer, not baking soda, but washing soda. Uh, say a cup to five gallons, so I won't use this much here. But yeah, you need that. So I heard it doesn't help to use more, so we're gonna put a little in here. I don't know, that was probably a cup. Uh, gonna stir it a little. There you go. Gotta wash my hands here. Not full of soap. So yeah, again these bottles are brown. Just playing for the old. Um, back to this. So you have the two rods. You have your hook. So you take your lock. Now I gotta do it in blind here. You hang it on the, the thing down here. Now I got soap on my hands again, but whatever. Um, I'm gonna do this down on the floor. Hope I don't lose my phone down there. So, so make sure your power supply is off. It's connected, but it's off. Uh, plus goes to the rebarbs. That's why I have this one with the screw. So it'll go over to these two. And minus goes to the one you wanna do the electrolysis for. And I can't touch the water. So now, now it's hooked up. And you turn your finger on, 12 volts. And it should start to bubble. You can see it already does. That's the bubble in action. And the current goes to the water and it will actually drag the rust over to these rebarbs. It's 
pretty cool to watch. Now the water, of course, is full of soap. Uh, I'll see if I can tape it a little bit later. Maybe the water will clear up. I doubt it, though. But the uh, rust actually goes across, across over to the rebarbs and gets stuck on it. So it's pretty cool. See, it's starting to bubble over there, too. So, yeah, it will actually connect to the rust will transfer from whatever you are cleaning with electrolysis over to the rebarbs. I assume you can reuse them, so they were like five bucks. I got them from Tractor Supply. Uh, wire is a coat hanger. This handle here down here is from the bucket itself. If you need bigger items, I guess you should get a five gallon. I just didn't have the need for a big item yet, so. So yeah, I will um, probably, I don't know if I'll let it run overnight. I don't know how much I trust it. I guess it's only 12 volts, so. But I don't know how reliable this power supply is, so. Maybe I'll let it run until I go to bed and then turn it on tomorrow again, so. And, uh. When I clean the log up, I'll come back and show you. You all have a nice Saturday evening. If you like this kind of content, which is <laughs> kind of new to this channel, um, press subscribe and like. Uh, I haven't been able to go out and metal detect or nothing. Uh, the ground is frozen solid, so it'll be a little while. You all have a nice evening. Bye.